Hello and welcome to this module and here we are going to talk about split data frame into two random subsets. I'll use the same sample superstore data, my favorite. Here is my data set, let me call superstore. This is the entire data which we have. Now, total number of length, first of all, total number of records we want to check. I have 9994. If you want to split a data frame into two parts, randomly assigning 60% of the rows to one data frame and other 40% to the second data frame. That is what we want to do. Let's do that. Let's say sample one is equal to super store dot sample. After that fraction, how much fraction are you looking for? 60%. Random state is helping me to create a random record. You can put any number. I'm just putting one, two, three, four. You can give any number. This will help you to split the data randomly. For example, let's say in my machine, I am passing random state is equal to one, two, three, four. In your machine also, we are passing one, two, three, four. Then your data and my data split will be the same. That 60% record which we are getting will be the same. Suppose I am passing one, two, three, four. You are passing one, two, four, five then your output will be different, mine will be different. I'll execute this. I have this sample one, which consists of 60% of the record. Let me check the length of it. It is coming out to be 5996. So 5996 divided by 9994 comes out to be around 60%. Perfect. Now, the second data which I'm looking for is I will drop the records from Superstore because I took what? I took 60% of the records from this particular data. If I will drop sample one dot index records and save this in sample two, what will happen? I'll get sample two. And if I check the length of this, this will be 3998. That means if I want to sum up sample one data, length of sample one data plus length of sample two data, you can see that the total number of records are the same as the total number of records I have in my source. If you want to check the index numbers, because I want to know whether there is any common records present or not. It should be the different index. For example, in sample one, index number one record is there. So that should not be there in sample number two. So if you want to check that, sample one dot index dot sort values. If I execute this, zero, one, two, five, that means three and four is not here. So it should be there in sample number two. Let's see that sample two dot index dot sort values. If you execute three, four is present here, six is present here, then seven is present here, eight is present here, nine is there, 10 is not here, so 10 is present here, and so on. So that is how you will able to split the data, split the data into multiple uh, data frames. I divided into two and Summing up both the two data frames, I'll get the entire data set. I hope this trick will make some sense to you. See you in the next module. Till then, happy analyzing.